Bees, it's your girl Henny, and today I'm gonna to be eating nuclear fire noodles with cheese. So let's dig in because I'm so hungry. Today I'm drinking the Lime Kirkland sparkling water, one of my favorites. Cheers! So someone asked in the comments, so honey, do you like the Kirkland sparkling water or the LaCroix? Honestly, I do like the Kirkland one because it does have flavor, but it's not too overpowering. As you guys may or may not know, I am not fond of too sweet drinks or foods. So I do like the Kirkland one and I do prefer it. I feel like it has a little more fizz. So now... Let's do our first bite. Honey bite. Oh, look at that cheese pool. Oh, my mouth is watering right now. Oof. I don't know. I am so sorry I've been doing noodles back to back to back, but I've been craving fire noodles ever since I took a break. I wanted to eat it every day, but I haven't been able to. So this is why I've been eating fire noodles back to back to back, but I promise you it's not going to be just noodle videos. The next one will be something else. Honey, bye. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I'm in spicy food heaven. Mm-hmm. So... It is going to soon be my sixth year on YouTube and some of you guys still write comments like you talk too much and some of you guys might be like dang after six years you still have that much to talk about you know I thought to myself and I'm like wow this is basically a one-man show I do have collapse here and there but rarely and I'm like really how do I have that much to talk about but you know what Every day is a new day, and now that I have a fiancé, a whole new family, I have golf as a hobby, and I meet all different types of people now, it's just like, I want to tell you guys everything about my life. Not only that, when I'm with my real friends, my in real life friends, I'm more of a listener. So when it comes to you guys, I'm just like, okay, I want to tell them this, I want to tell them that. I usually listen, but now I want to get my mouth motor open. And I guess that's why I do talk a lot in my videos. Mmm. Mmm. And I also want to be your friend while you guys eat and watch me. Mmm. Can never go wrong with this. <sighs> also, I did read some comments that were like, Man, I love the way you eat, but you just talk way too much for my taste. Well, I do post just the eating sound videos of the same video on my other channel, Honey TV. So make sure you guys check it out. I will pin it in the comments for those of you guys who just want to hear the eating. Woo. Cheers! Yummy!
Wow. Also, some of you guys are like, honey, how do you make your cheese like that? Like this? The secret to how I make my cheese is I put my cheese on a plate like this, which I am eating from right now. And I put like a tablespoon of water and then I microwave it for a minute 30 and it becomes like this. It doesn't harden as fast when I do it like this. You do have to take the water out after you microwave it because it gets a little bit watery. But other than that, it stays cheesy a little longer. I love melting my cheese this way. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. So, I had an incident the other weekend. So you guys know how much I love golf, right? It's my hobby. It's what I do when I have my time off. And in golf, I don't know if you guys know, but it's usually a group of four. And so let's say you and your friend go play golf and some other group with two members also schedule the same tee time as you. Then you have to hit with them, right? So I went to play golf with two of my friends. And then the team behind us, while we were playing the first hole, their ball almost hit us twice because they were hitting too early. We were still at the hole, but they hit the ball. It landed right next to us one time, and then it landed next to us again the second time. So my question for you guys is, if that happened to you, what would you do? Let me know in the comments down below. Mm. So, it is golf etiquette to pace your time, but also wait for the team ahead of you to be somewhat done before you hit, right? And if you guys have seen golf balls, they are tiny, they are hard. And some people hit it really hard with really fast ball speed. So if you get hit by a golf ball, you could die. You could get a concussion. You could pass out. You know, you could have, it could hurt you, basically. So, you know, the first time when it landed next to us, I was like, okay, that's fine. Maybe we'll just tell them. Or maybe we'll just, you know, let it go. And then it happened the second time at the same hole. And so I was like, you know what, I think we should say something because if this keeps happening, it's really dangerous. And there were times when I almost got hit and there were times when the ball went right under my cart. So I really could have been hurt, right? Anyways, when we were done and then they were by the green, so they parked their cart next to ours, right? I said, Excuse me, sir. He was with his daughter. This guy was with his daughter. And I said, excuse me, sir. Um, can you guys play a little bit slower? This is how I exactly said it. I said, can you guys play a little bit slower? Because the balls almost hit us twice. And um, it's already backed up in front of us anyway. So we can play slow. And then this guy. Can you guys guess what this guy said to us? I was shocked. I was shocked to the core, especially because his daughter was there and she was watching him and she was looking at what was happening, right? He goes, what color ball was it? And I'm like, um, I think one of them was orange. I don't remember the other one. He's like, well, that's not ours. Go talk to them. Don't talk to us. That's exactly how he said it. And I was like, Oh, I guess there are two different groups. I 
And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought it was you, but can you guys still slow down a little bit? He's like, don't talk to us, that's not my problem. And right after I heard that, I was like, wow. He could have just said, um, that's not our ball, um, it's theirs, but I'll go tell them. He could have said something like that. But when he said that, I was like, wow, what is his daughter going to learn, you know? Like, seeing his dad react that way and respond that way. I wasn't even being mean about it. I just asked them to slow down a little bit because the team ahead of us were waiting for the team ahead of them. So we were waiting for the next shot. But I was shocked because I did not expect him to react that way. And, you know, even if they weren't together, um, even if they weren't his friends that did it or it wasn't him that did it, I think he could have responded differently especially because he was with his daughter or student I don't know who it is but it was like a li little young girl I just thought it was so rude of him to act that way You know, if I was him, and I was just a different group, and they accidentally hit them, or whatever, I would have still said, hey, I'm so sorry, but we'll play slower. Oh, you know what? When I said, oh, can you guys play a little bit slower? He's like, slower? You want us to play slower? I was like, um, golf is a slow sport. We're here to have fun. We're not here to rush. <laughs> You know, wow, I, I, I still can't forget that interaction. But please, you guys, it doesn't hurt to be nice. He could have just said, oh, I'm so sorry. We'll slow down a little bit and I'll tell the other team that, you know, they almost hit you guys. It won't happen again. But yeah, I like golf because the slow pace, you're there to have fun with your friends, you chill, you know, you focus on your swing, you try to get a better score each time. I'm not there to rush anything, but you know, when people behind me rush me, and people try to play too fast. I don't like that. I don't like... In my life, I don't like being rushed. So when that happens to me at the golf course, I start to panic a little bit. And it just throws off my game. But yeah, tell me in the comments down below what you would have done. How you would have reacted. I would love to know. And we have almost come to an end. I was getting heated thinking about that moment. My goodness. It was even more sad to me because the little girl was there and she saw what just happened and I don't want her to learn from that situation and become like that. As she grows older and she becomes like a LPGA player or, you know, just in general when she grows up. Mm. What are some hobbies or getaway for you guys to relieve stress? For me, it's golf and also filming and talking to you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. This is going to be my last bite. Yeah. It's heavy. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Cheese.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And to become a honey bee. And like this video if you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye-bye.